Welcome back to another Twinkle Tip Friday edition. This is Clyde here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us, folks. Happy New Year to all of you. We hope that you had a fantastic, wonderful 2023 holiday season. We hope your shows ran bright. We hope that your visitors, your community, and your family had a very warm and wonderful season. And it's because of you that the things that you do at your own home at your own place for your own shows really lights up everybody else's world whether you know it or not you have an amazing impact on them so with that being said guys let's get into 2024 and our very first twinkle tip friday video So this week, guys, what I want to focus on is a couple additions in X lights that have been added, let's say, more recently towards the end of the year. One of the things that I found very interesting, and it's quite by accident, but uh, I'm going to show you a couple things about the color palette up there. We'll go over here real quick. Ooh, right there's the color palette. And uh, what I wanted to show you is a couple of new buttons. Now, I'm in 2023. 22. Uh, I, I don't think it's the most recent version. Uh, it, it's, it, it hasn't prompted me that there's a new one out there, but I think there is. But in any event, what I wanted to share with you is there's a couple new buttons here. Now, this circular button here that you see, this is not new. It's It's been there for quite a while. And what this circular button does is it takes all of the colors on the color palette. You have, like, let's say you have eight of them, and it pancake flips them. Flip this way so if we do that well let's go ahead and do that so you can see this bam now it's taken the color order and it's completely reversed it so i'm going to put it back to the x lights default color palette and then i'm going to show you what these other two buttons do and then we're going to go through a little use case for them and why that why it's actually kind of nice to have them so the next thing i want to hit is this arrow to the left Okay, well, if we hit the arrow to the left and we were familiar with how X Lights likes to treat the colors, then we see that, hey, uh, the first one here before was white. It was red, green, blue, yellow, black, turquoise, and then you had the pink here and you had the uh, the the. The, the the turquoise was here so what happens though is is that it marches everything down one step it moves it down one step now is this is this something super helpful well actually it kind of is and i'm going to give you a use case because there are a number of ways that i use this that i can use this now whereas it wasn't as easy to do before um so then you have these steps that you can step this through you can keep stepping it through until you get the colors right over to where the the check boxes are that you have selected you can use this it's a nice little feature or you can reverse the color so if we come back here let's just zero out the color palette and put it back to what it was default if we have the white red green if we use the right button, it does it in the opposite direction. So these are two nice little features that are built into X lights. And I'm going to show you um, with an example here of why this might be useful to you. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is let's go over to uh, this is kind of my test screen. I'm going to add a timing track and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go into metronome and I'm going to change uh not milliseconds, metronome. There we go. And I'm going to change this to, I'm going to leave this at 500 milliseconds. So what 500 milliseconds is equal to is a half a second. So here's a second of time, but here's half a second of time. And now this is why it might be interesting to utilize this function with this with this arrow to the left and right for your color palette. Now, I like to do this. I've done this for many years in, in uh, the bars effect. Uh, if I grab the bars effect, let's just put it on the matrix. And I'm going to zero this out. And let's change the, uh, the way that it's seen as let's change it to left. I'm going to pick four colors so that you can actually see what's going on with the color palette. So what I'm going to do now is I want to manually step. Let's say these are beat marks that you have. This is a beat, this is a beat, and this is a beat in your song. Let's say that I want to manually step these colors at the beat of the music. What we can do now is we can take this. We have this zeroed out of cycles. We can copy this, and we can paste this. 
And if we hit the arrow to the left, now you see that we've stepped all the colors one direction over. I can deselect the blue, and it, it, it left the checkboxes where they were, but moved the colors. And now you can see everything stepped over by one. Now, if I go ahead and grab the bars effect here, and I lay it down again, and I step it backwards just one more time, I deselect that one, I, de I select the black, I deselect the turquoise, I select the white, and then what if I do this one more time over here? And then this would be the final fourth position. If I arrow this over, deselect the blue, select the black, and then select my red, green, and white. So this is one way, if I play this, and then if I zoom out, so I'm just zooming out using the minus key, and I copy this, and what if I paste this four times. So now over over the period of eight seconds, I've got 16 changes that I've made, 16 individual effects. And you can see if you utilize that arrow skip and change the checkbox, you can make the colors appear to chase themselves using the bars effect. Now, I've been doing this for years. There's there's a bunch of ways to do this in x lights but I'm sharing with you one of the simplistic ways to do it, just using the color palette and how nice this little feature is if you've never, ever considered using something like this in the past. So the next thing I wanna share with you guys are tool tips. So something new in x lights that has been added most recently has been the addition of tool tips. Now, there's always been these tool tips if you click on the color palettes here, and if you hover over top, this tells you x lights has, has some default colors that have been added into x lights These were added in, I want to say, back in 2017, 2018, 2019. Um, and Keith added them in. He's built them in so that when you install x lights x lights has a base set of color palettes that you can utilize. So uh, here's a blue color palette, here's a green one, and you can see the tooltip that labels them below. This one here is the default color palette, so it's labeled as default. And here's a color palette, this is called Halloween, that uh, from, to my understanding, uh, this is, and this is newer as well, these colors have been coded to be a little bit more specific, we'll say, for the Halloween season without having to change gamma. I'm not sure how, I haven't tried it, but it's something to definitely test out. Maybe I'll do something on that later on. But uh, but these tool tips are here that allow us to, if you have challenges being able to uh, tell what a color is just by looking at it, you can hover over these blocks here. Now, um, this here, this is an RGBW color palette, just red, green, and white, and then a couple different uh, color curves are available there and then you have the yellow color palette it's really interesting that they added this but one of the other things that they added was if you hover over top of the in different individual colors there is now a uh, a tool tip over top of each color that denotes the exact well what the color is first of all it's at the bottom the second thing that it denotes is it shows you the RGB color code in order to create that see that 25500 if we double if we single click on this and we come over here and define custom colors you can come over here and you can define a specific color now if you want to learn more about the color palettes and how to create your own colors uh, you can watch uh, we have a webinar that we did uh, a lot of hints and tips and tricks on colors just in general uh, if you want to learn more just watch that video up there but uh, but what's more interesting is is that if you hover over it says see how it says red orange well that's it's more of a red orange but it'll probably give a good orange appearance this one here is indigo it's not it's not exactly purple uh, and then you have midnight blue so uh, X lights has actually gotten intelligent enough to say oh look there's maroon um, and it's not just the standard colors anymore you can utilize some of these different colors so you have green there you have blue you have yellow you have cyan you have magenta um, and and these are nice little additions that maybe you hadn't saw yet. Well, guys, I hope that you all enjoyed this little extra Twinkle Tip Friday video on color. 
I know that sometimes it gets a little confusing on how to do things in x -Lights, and we really hope these videos have come to help you just a little bit. And if they have, by all means, please hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't become a YouTube subscriber to the PPD YouTube channel yet and hit the bell for notifications so you never miss one of our awesome videos. If you have suggestions, that's what the comments are for, please comment in the video the things that you would like to learn be specific give us a give us an idea of where your challenges are because in one of these twinkle tip friday videos you never know what what questions we can answer and what you might pick up just by watching some of the things that we do guys if you appreciate the things we do consider joining the ppd sequence club where you get one awesome sequence each and every month and we've been doing two now for about 17 months now it's getting crazy uh we're, we probably we're definitely doing two for uh february of 2024 so Stay tuned. We've got a lot coming to you. Thank you for joining us this week. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now. Happy New Year, guys. It's Clyde here from Pixel Pro Displays. Welcome back to another Twinkle Tips Friday video. It's January 5th, 2023. No. <laughs> Take two.